Efficiently and cost-effectively managing and outsource tasks is a complex process, but I will share with you one of my best kept secrets on how do I do it quickly and easily. In this video, we will look into how to make sure the work gets done when you outsource to a freelancer or to a virtual assistant with using the project management tool called Trello. I'm Sophia of My Processes and I help busy entrepreneurs to automate and outsource their time-consuming tasks without sacrificing the profit. So if you are looking to make the four-hour work week a reality or simply avoid burnout, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I release a new video like this. Let's assume we are setting up an outsourced project about your social media management. You will be working on the project together with your social media manager, a script writer and a video editor. Let's go and check out my computer. Step 1. Let's create a new board for our social media management. I click on this plus sign and create a board. I give it a name, social media process, I pick up a nice color, I make sure that it's assigned to the correct team and I make it visible to the team. So it's not private and not public either. It's a team view. And then I create the board. And here is my new board where I can start working. I will add the columns to the board. The first column can be an information, list of informations. The next one can be a column for the questions which we will discuss in our next meeting. Then we can have a to-do column for all the tasks we need to work on, an in-progress list for those tasks which we are already working on but not yet finished. We can have some blocked tasks where there are some issues or problem problems. So this is a list for escalations basically, and then a board for all the tasks which we have already done. So this can be the list we're going to use. Then I will go ahead and invite members to use this board. My social media manager, my editor, my script writer will be added. When I click on invite and insert the email address, I can automatically send the invitation or create an invite link. Whichever you choose, you will be fine. But the best thing is that if someone joins Trello due to your request, you will be temporarily upgraded to the Trello Gold with some lovely cool features. So do not waste this opportunity. If your team member does not yet use Trello, ask them to only register once they received your invite so you can get some extra features in Trello. For step four, I already created a few cards with you, but let me show you what I find really important. In the questions for meeting area, I added a card to discuss deadlines. So I think there should be a batch production of the social media posts. So I have added a little suggestion of how the deadlines should look like. But of course, we're going to discuss it in our next meeting. And once we are ready and happy with the results, we can move it to the done folder because it is already discussed. Or we can move it into the information for area because this is the area where we keep all the information we want to keep in mind. Let me move this list a little bit further so you see it better. First of all, I added a card about how to use this board. If I click on it, I added already a video, a description on how to use the board. I've added a picture just for you to see that we can add nice pictures. And I added a label. If you click on the labels, you can edit the name of the label by clicking on the arrow next to it. So you can add a nice name to the label you want to add and you save it. And once you take the label, it will be visible on the card. You can add multiple labels as well. It looks really good and really grabs the attention. So this way you can make sure that people will check out the how to use this board card. I've added pictures, I've added the useful links, my social media manager will look and a little bit of a photo. I also added my brand colors, a few pictures. I copy paste my brand colors. This is an actual hex code. And if I click on done, then the hex code will result in the color itself. In the to-do area, 
are added some tasks that we will need to do. So for example, creating LinkedIn posts, Facebook posts, Instagram posts. I have added a checklist. You can add checklist by clicking on checklist on the card. You have to name the checklist and then you can add as many rows as much as you want. So for example, for an Instagram post, you surely want to have a photo. You want to have a nicely written caption. Uh, you want to do hashtag research, and of course, you cannot lack an effective call to action. And whenever something is clicked, then the progress bar will show how far ahead are you with your task. So these are the tasks. And of course, you can be very creative and move around and always move the cards and add as much as you want. If you have a problem with the task, you can move it to the blocked area and tag the person who can help you and ask him to please help. And if they are digged and there is a lot of information all around here, then they will know how to help you. So everyone will know how are things going and what's going on in the project. And here comes my pro tip. For a consistent social media presence, you need to repeat the tasks regularly. It can happen with any project, actually. So for example, you can plan and schedule content monthly. So I suggest to add a card repeater. Therefore, you won't have to add new cards every month. They will be automatically created. There are plenty of power apps available in Trello, but only one is allowed in the free version. So let's see how to do that. You go to the card you want to repeat, and then you have to add power apps. If you click on this, it will redirect you to the power app area of Trello. I will search for card repeater. Here it is. So I quickly click on add. It's already added, so I just have to close this area and I am back to my board. So here is the power app. Let's click on this and let's tra tell Trello to repeat it every four weeks on Monday, let's say. And it will be created in the list of to do and this will be positioned on the top. So if I save it, this card will be repeated in the next month. As easy as you have seen, this is a very cool feature, so go ahead and use it. Trello is a simple and effective way to track outsourced projects, but it has its limitations too. And there are other project management tools that can do way more than Trello. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos to find the best tool for you. Until my next video, stop firefighting and be the creator of your company.